Welcome back. Welcome and thank you for tuning in and checking it all out. We really, really appreciate you. Our next guest is the, uh, the proud founder and executive director of Meet the Writers Incorporated. She's here today to talk about how her organization has connected uh, students with authors from all over the world for over eight years. She's been doing it. She's out in the community making it all happen. Welcome to the show, Michelle Weissman. Michelle, welcome. Bob, it's so great to see you. Thanks for having me. And I am so honored to be on the lineup today. Always a pleasure to see you. Now, um, what are some of the books in back of you? I'm only kidding. <laughs> you have an hour or do you have a day? <laughs> Just give me two. In fact, I've read them all, so I'm happy to tell you about them. <laughs> But Michelle, tell us, you know, we always want to find out about Meet the Writers. Tell us a little bit about it and how have you, uh, what have you been up to lately? So one of the things we did this spring was we were back at the Highbridge Green School in the Bronx, a middle oh, yeah. school in the Bronx, where it all started in 2015. I remember. With a visit by author Tori Maldonado. And, and tell us a little bit about the Meet the Writers. So one of the things we did this spring was support Reading Joy Week at Highbridge Green School. Mm -hmm. So we brought it three authors, one for each grade. For sixth graders, we brought George O'Connor, who was the graphic artist of the Olympians. For seventh graders, we brought mm -hmm. the author of The Night Diary, Ria Haranandani, talking about her family's experience with uh, partition in India. And then for eighth graders, we brought Ashley Woodfolk, the author of Nothing Burns As Bright As You. And this is about sort of a, a special relationship between friends. Yeah. And what was so exciting was that every student got to meet an author and got a signed book to keep. And that's what Meet the Writers is all about, right? Tell us, tell us a little bit more for the people who really don't know about it. That's it. In a way, it's very simple. We connect authors to students in schools. Whether they like it or not, they're involved in the program. They get to meet the author and they get a book to keep. And so part of the program is they get to approach the author and have their book signed. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the conversation is simple, like, I love your book, how many books have you written? But also it's very profound, kids say, I love this book because I've never seen a character like me before in a book, and I see myself in this book. Yeah. And sometimes the author might say to a kid, I love your hair. And I feel like those are very impactful moments. Like you see that the kids like, the author loved my hair. Like it just, it all feels very important. Yeah. So I feel like it's about empathy, seeing characters, and about identity. And so I think yeah. the program is about both of those things. Yeah, and you went back to your origin the original school where you started. But the Meet the Writers has come a long way in helping to foster a love for reading in our communities, and especially our, our public schools. You know, how do you see it? How, how far has it gone? How, how do you, wh from once you first started, to now, what, what do you see how, how it has helped a whole lot of people? I do, and it's kind of incredible. I feel like the time adds up. We started with this, let's try this, you know, one author at one school in the Bronx. Now we've reached over 45,000 students, and we've given away over 25,000 signed books. And... I feel like the numbers are powerful to me, mm -hmm. and I just want to be around, you know, eight more years and sort of double and quadruple that. I yeah. mean, I, it's been incredible. So uh, I always say to a school, let's do one author visit. Let's try it out. And that's the best, you know, sell or experience to expand the program in a school. Yeah. So maybe we bring an author to one grade, and then it expands to bring an author to kids in every grade. And now you have latched on to the National Ambassadors for Children's Literature. You partnered with them, um, and you're going to visit the Brooklyn Children's Museum, the Green School. You're going to do that again? How big is that for students to see that and to be a part of that? I mean, it's it's been, I think, very powerful for students. What's interesting to me is I've been, I've met students in middle school and we've been doing this long enough that I then mm -hmm. see the kids in high school. 
Like I saw a girl, you know, bring the, her signed book from middle school to show poet Nikki Grimes when she met her at her high school. And so that that's mm -hmm. very powerful. I, I see that kids connect these experiences or they'll say to their younger siblings, oh, it's so exciting. We just met this author. Just wait a few years and you'll meet this author, too. I mean, once we work with a school, often a kid's who may not have books of their own in their house and certainly not signed to them, you know, get this growing stack of books that are theirs. And it's it's been very powerful to see that. I mean, I, I think it resonates with kids. I think when we ask kids where do books come from, they might say the bookstore or the library, but then they see that people who look like them or their parents or their cousins they're writing these books. Yeah. They're editing these books. They're they're illustrating these books, and it's like, oh, I could do that too, and yeah. I I think that's been very powerful. And one of the things, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. Finish. I guess I was going to say one of the things we did this year is in addition to bringing authors to meet students, we're bringing authors to meet teachers who are then affecting students' lives. And so I think you had a picture of Sonia Manzano who I think a lot of people know as Maria on Sesame Street. Yeah. We were able to connect her through the New York City Public Schools Literacy Collaborative to teachers and coaches in uh, kindergarten to 12th grade. And I feel like that was powerful in a different way because then they could meet Sonia and learn about her journey from being a kid in the South Bronx to becoming this acclaimed actor, author, and speaker and sort of hearing her story, I think they could bring back and talk to kids at their schools. So that was another way I feel like that we are impacting kids. Yeah, I think it's a wonderful thing. Kids go on to become collectors of these wonderful books, and then they get a chance to meet the artist up close and personal and get a signed autograph copy of the book. And then when they get a little older, they can say, hey, look, this is my, this is my wonderful book collection. Yeah, I want to thank you guys. Uh, do you have any upcoming events that would that we should know about? You know, I have to say the summer is a little slow. We're slow. We're kind of wrapping up for the school year. Yeah. We're going to do a few events with an, another amazing organization called Read Alliance, that takes teens in a community and partners them with kindergarten and second graders. And so we're doing events to bring an author to the connect authors to the teens and yeah. also to the K to second grade youth. So I'm excited about that this summer. And then in the fall, we're going to actually, as one of our programs, we're going to help launch author Renee Watson, who is also kind of a Harlem uh, personality and amazing author. Yeah. She, we're going to help launch her a book in one of her series. So that's exciting. Some of the things we have on tap for this uh, for next school year. Michelle, where can we go to find out more about uh, uh, all all that you're doing? Because, you know, you got parents, students, teachers, the yeah. whole community wants to know more school. about what you're doing so we can follow and uh, and find out what it's all about, because we have to continue to read throughout the summer. Maybe Absolutely. we should do a reading I have contest. My stack of to be read. Yes, I have a to be read list. I'm reading a book called Mascot yeah. by Charles Waters and Tracy Sorrell. I'm reading a book called Sunshine by Jared Kazatska. I have lots of books on my to be to be read look yeah. list. Do you have I'd that on your website? You have the, uh, the, the books know, to read on your website? On Instagram. Yeah, I just posted on Instagram. I'd love for people to follow meetthewriters.org or meetthewriters on Instagram and uh -huh. Facebook. I'd love to hear from school partners, authors, illustrators, and always, of course, funders. There she is, the executive director, Meet the Writers Incorporated, uh, Michelle Weissman. We, we thank you so much for the, all that you're doing in our community, you know, and continue doing uh, the great work that you're doing. We're going to follow you. We're going to try to read the books that you recommend on your website. Um, you, all have, you also have social media that we should know about. Yeah, we're on Instagram mo mostly, a little bit on Facebook. I'd love to hear from people. Bob, yeah. it's always such an honor to be on the show. I, I really appreciate it. Well, you're always welcome to come back and share, okay? Continue to read, 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 read. It's of important. Course. All right. Michelle, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bob. All right. We'll take another break right here. We'll come back. I've got a little bit more right here on Open.